All right, everyone. Uh, how's it going? I'm going to be presenting you with a classic review of Pro Wrestling Guerrilla's All Star Weekend uh, One Night One. Uh, I decided to go back to this show uh, rather than All Star Weekend Five, just because, really. Um, really hope this will get my views up because they've been pretty non-existent so far. So let's hope I can uh, generate some interest here on YouTube. Anyway, alright, uh, the first match we have is Top Gun Taller, Hook Bomberry, Ronin, and Davey Richards versus Disco Machine, Excalibur, Phoenix, Star, and Zokray. Absolutely awesome opener. Um, I gave this originally when I watched it uh, four stars. This is actually the first um, indie uh, DVD that I bought. Um, yeah, so this was absolutely awesome match. Um, just to let everyone know, I am like the biggest fan of Spotfest. I absolutely love them. Uh, so there's a little bit of a bias there. So take it for what it's worth. But um, this was a really great match. I thought a uh, cool spot. Everyone, uh, I forgot on which team it was, but they all did uh, like, I don't know what you call it, a swanton, I guess. Um, off the top rope into the crowd, it was like a front flip. So they all did it, four of them simultaneously. It was, it was a sweet match. Next match we have is Chris Hero versus Chris Sabin. Oh, sorry, that last match uh, was four stars. Uh, Chris Hero versus Chris Sabin. Um, very good match. Uh, it was interesting to see how they would work together with Chris Hero being so tall and uh, Chris Sabin really not being uh, that tall. But they worked really well together. I thought match flowed uh, extremely well. Gave it uh, three and three quarter stars. Very good match. Next here we have the worst match of the show. And when if this is your worst match of the show, you have a phenomenal show on your hands. Um, Johnny Storm vs. Petey Williams. Um, it, it, it was, it was pretty good, I guess, um, not, not really for me, it was a little bit slow for my taste, but, what you gonna do, um, no Canadian Destroyer, which is one of my best finish, or, I mean, not my best, one of my favorite finishers, uh, in wrestling, so, that was unfortunate, but it was still, still, still a solid match. Next we had, uh, the Havana Pitbulls, if you don't know who that is, it's the tag team of, uh, Ricky Reyes and Rocky Romero versus Puma and Kendo Kashin, I want to say, uh, his name is pronounced. Anyway, um, Rocky Romero is one of my favorite, uh, independent wrestlers, guys on the independent scene, so he is, uh, I really like watching him, I think he puts on some great matches. Um, this match got three stars, it was good, but it was very long, it, like, dragged a lot so it was still a good match but it dragged a lot is probably would have gotten somewhere upwards of three and three quarter stars but it just dragged so much so i had to bump it down to three okay uh next match we had uh james gibson or some of you may know him now as jamie noble in the wwe versus the american dragon brian danielson fantastic match here um some great counter wrestling um some great uh, chain wrestling in the beginning both of these guys can really can really go so I think their styles work extremely well together as well because I think they have somewhat of a similar style so that worked out uh, uh, really well uh, the next match we have is between Arrogance and Joey Ryan if you don't know who Arrogance is that is the tag team of Scott Lost and Chris Bosch versus Frankie Kazarian, Quicksilver and Scorpio Sky you know, a lot of you may not know uh, a lot of these guys in this match they are all, well, most of them anyway, are West Coast uh, talents, and they're very good. I'm kind of surprised they haven't moved up anywhere. PWG is the biggest promotion they've been in, but they are very good. Uh, match got four stars. It's another, it was a comedy slash spot fest match, so me naturally, I absolutely loved it. I probably did overrate it um, somewhat, but I, I don't think uh, it really matters that much uh, and then we have the next match we have here is um, for the TNA X Division Championship we have Christopher Daniels versus Alex Shelley another good match um, three and a half stars actually I think they have three and three quarter but um, good match um, there was some some sweet spots in there um, 
yeah, so overall, it was it was a good match. Um, then we had AJ Styles versus Samoa Joe. Um, absolutely great match. It was match of the night, uh, four and a half stars. Anytime these guys hook up, it, it's awesome. And I'm going to talk about, you know, this wasn't the new TNA, the limited AJ Styles. This was, you know, back in 2005, the real AJ Styles. We all came to know and love. So, I mean... Not really much more to say uh, about that match, but it was it, it was some good stuff in there. And our final match we have is Super Dragon versus El Generico versus Kevin Steen. <sighs> Very nice match. Um, these are probably three of the most over guys in pro wrestling, Gorilla. Um, in case you were wondering, yeah. So. Uh, yeah, it was a very good match. Super, Super Dragon, uh, he kind of, like, would get hit with a spot and then would, like, not be in for a while for, like, two or three minutes. And then he would, like, come in and get hit with a spot and then, like, be out for a while, which really doesn't bother me because, truth be told, I'm not the biggest Super Dragon fan. Um, although I am a absolutely huge fan of El Generico. I think he, he's probably, him and uh, Rocky Romero are probably my two favorite guys on the independent scene. So... Uh, that, that they were really good, and uh, Kevin Steen. Um, I don't probably like him as much as a lot of other people do, but uh, he he's still pretty good. So yeah, he has a little bit too many antics for me personally, but uh, he's still a uh, a very good wrestler. So overall, uh, this is an absolutely fantastic show. Got a or gets sorry a 9.5 out of 10 for me. Almost perfect. Um, the only problem I found with it was, though, is that there was not really enough storyline. I mean, I don't, this is the only show I really own from that era. I've been meaning to get night two of All-Star Weekend and some shows leading up to it. But from uh, what I hear, this uh, show isn't the best storyline-wise, but the wrestling is just absolutely phenomenal. So that's reason enough to pick it up alone. So, and night two... Um, I don't have the show, but I've been meaning to pick that one up as well. It's where AJ wins the PWG title for the first time, and uh, Chris Hero faces uh, Christopher Daniels for the X Division Championship, so that's probably an awesome show as well. Well, uh, that has been a classic review of Pro Wrestling Guerrilla's All-Star Weekend 1, Night 1, and I hope you all enjoyed it. Thanks.